Hello, welcome to Sunfire Designs. Today I'm going to be making a moon shaped tray and I am going to be adding a holographic sticker to the bottom of it because I think it'll look really, really cool in the center of it. Um, I got these stickers on Amazon. It's a set for this particular one. It comes with a bunch of different ones and I selected this one because I think it'll look really cool. Um, but they do have other ones. They have, well, I'm not gonna take them out right now, but this is called Spiritual Wonderland. And I will put a link in the description of the video. Um, they're just really cool. I got a whole bunch of different kinds. So, but this is one of the ones I got. And what I wanna do is I wanna place it like this. Now, both sides of this are holographic, so it does not matter which side I put down. And I am just gonna kind of look at this and figure out where I think it would be centered, maybe a little bit more to the left. Nope, back this way. Not the best at getting things centered. How do you think that looks? I think it needs to go a little more. this way and then now down see I told you I'm not the best at getting things centered I have an idea in my head and I get it done but all right I think I'm happy with it there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I really now I'm not actually sticking it on here I'm just laying it on here and um, I'm gonna be putting clear resin over it. So what'll happen is um, if the resin gets underneath it, it'll be fine. Um, sometimes it does make a little air pocket though, like a little hole, which is not a problem. You can go ahead and fill it up um, with resin, and put a top coat on it, but I wanna try to avoid that. So I'm just gonna go and smooth it out and try to make sure that I have as many bubbles out as possible. And then I'll do that again once I've added the resin. Um, to it. So I already mixed up my resin. Uh, today I'm using Jan Chun resin and it is in the um, description of the video. I mixed up six ounces, which may be too much. I don't want to cover the entire thing. I want to leave a little bit of room to put a background on it. Um, and what I want to do is in the edges right here, I want to put, I have this glitter and I have this one. Um, there, one is fine and one is um, chunky. And I think that if I combine them both, I'll get a really good combination. They're both basically the same thing. This one's got little stars. This one has stars. This one has purple glitter. This one has purple glitter. So it's basically the same thing. I don't remember where I got the one in my, this one right here. Um, it's called Night Sky, cannot remember. Oh, it's Hobby Lobby. I got it at Hobby Lobby, this is down here. So I got that at Hobby Lobby. And this one right here, I got at Michael's. And it's called Stargazer. And it's from the Recollections um, selection, okay? And then I also have these glow-in-the-dark stars that I'm gonna kinda put around here um, once I pour my clear on there because I want them to show. And I got these also at Michael's. And then if I need to, I have these tiny little stars that I can add. I probably don't need them, but just in case I took them out, I don't know where I got those. Um, and at the end, when I'm done, I'm gonna cover it with some, this is just resin and it is violet plum. And if it needs to go darker, I can add a little black. I'll know that once I actually mix it up. So, gonna go ahead and get going on this. So I'm gonna add these two glitters to my four ounces of resin, and that's just for out here. I know I won't need that much, and that's okay. Um, actually, you know what, I might start off with like three or three and a half ounces. That way, if I need to make more, I can make more. Um, that is about, about three in there right now indecisiveness it's my middle name all right so i'm gonna go i just take the lid off it's too much of a pain to pour it out of the shaker and i'm just gonna go ahead and add 
a good amount of glitter in here. And then I am also going to add some of the um, finer glitter. Whoops, that one went a little further than I wanted. All right, so let's mix this up and see what it's like. I want it to be pretty saturated with glitter. It's going to sink to the bottom, which is what, which is fine because that's the side you see. So, um, so that's good. It's got a lot of glitter in there. Um, if I wanted it to be suspended in the glitter, I would just need to wait until my glitter, until my resin was thicker, but then you also run the risk of having more air bubbles and stuff. I do not have a vacuum chamber, so that would not solve my problems. Well, it would if I had one, I just don't have one. <laughs> so maybe one day, maybe one day. All right, so I am going to pour this around the edges of the mold. And I want to try to avoid getting it on the top. Yeah, I think I made way more than I need, but that's okay. I will find something else to do with it. I assure you. I usually, I have these cute little saguaro cacti molds and I live in Arizona. So the saguaro cactus is kind of like a major iconic symbol for the state. And so I usually make little keychains, saguaro cactus keychains with um, my leftover resin. And I want this to go all the way to the top without overflowing. I think I'm getting pretty close here. All right, I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna show you one of the little cacti that I make. I have a bunch of them here. And just anytime I have any leftover glitter, I mean resin, I just pour them in here. And then I drill a hole and put a hook in them and then put them on a keychain. So I've got all kinds, you can see different mixes. So yeah, that's what I do with it. And um, I'm a teacher at a high school and we give points for behavior and I donate a bunch of these to the school to be used for points for the students and they absolutely love the cactus. I don't know why, but that was the hot item. At least last year, it was the hot item. I don't know what's gonna happen this year, but I am well prepared. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour the clear over here. Now, if a few of the stars from below work their way up, I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, just want this barely covered so that I can add stuff to it and have it stick. All right, I think I'm gonna stop there. If I need to add a little more, I can. Um, all right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that my sticker is secure with no air bubbles. So I'm gonna use this tool that I have. It's just a silicone tool. It can be, I think it, it's listed for being for makeup. <laughs> I don't really know, um, but I'm just gonna use that to kind of run along here and make sure there are as few air bubbles as possible. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to add the glow in the dark stars. <clears throat> And I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle them lightly and then I'll go ahead and move them if I need to move them. I think it'll look really cool against the dark background. And I'm not gonna put any um, on top of the sticker. I know that one landed on there. I just need to go back and remove it. All right. So that is good for those. I'm just gonna go around now and make sure that they're not too clumped, that they're kind of spread out and, and kind of where I want them to be. And I know that this is not covering, the, the clear is not covering the entire top of this. And that's okay, just because I don't want too much of the, the glitter to float up on top of here. So I will be going back and adding a background. 
anyway, so you won't even be able to tell. It's a little piece of glitter. Get over there, little guy. Okay. Right, I stand up. I got a little bit of a glare. I want to make sure that I've got these all where I want them to be. Not too bunched up. Move some of these. here so it's basically wherever you want them to be is perfect you know so I think I want to make sure they stay over here by the clear because if they come over here by the glitter you will not be able to see them so All right, I think I am pretty happy with that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to turn on my um, heating map, uh, mat, not map, mat, and um, try to cure it a little bit so that I can come back and I can add the background. So I will turn do that and then I will be back in a few. Okay, welcome back. It's been about an hour. I had this on for 45 minutes and it is cured. So, um, yeah, like I could take it out right now if I decided I want to, but uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to um, add some stuff to the top. So I just mixed up, hopefully I mixed up enough, three ounces of resin. It does have a few little bubbles in it, but it's not gonna matter because I am coloring it solid. So I'm gonna use, like I mentioned before, my Just Resin Violet Plum. And I am going to add a good amount to it because I want it to be pretty dark. And if I need to, I can add some black, but hopefully it'll be okay with this color. So I'm gonna stir it up because it can get kind of thick if it's sitting around and you haven't used it in a little bit, which I have not used it in a little bit. So I'm gonna wipe off the back and just have the top of the stick, what I have on there, which is a decent amount. So we'll start off with that and then we'll add more if we need to. So mix, mix, mix. Get it all off the stick, or at least as much as I can off the stick. It's hard to tell how dark that is, hold on. Let me, um, let me wipe my stick off. Hold on just a sec. Okay. All right. And it's, this is stained, but we should be able to tell how dark it is. So let's stir it up. And that looks nice and dark. It is still a little bit transparent, but I think it'll be okay. And well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit more. I do want it to be good and uh, and opaque. So I'm gonna take this other stick and I'm just going to wipe it on the end of this stick here. That way, if I put a new stick in there, it's just kind of a pain in the butt to get it all off and stirred in. But if I put it on the one that's already been in the resin, it'll come off a lot easier. this up, make sure I scrape the stick on the inside, get it all off, at least as much as possible. Do -do -do -do. I love this heating mat. If I had had to wait for it to cure, it would have taken quite a while. So <clears throat> this means I can make more pieces in one day and um, just have more fun every day. So. All right, that's good and dark right there. All right, so I'm gonna just set this stick aside. I'll keep it over here in case I need to use it to scrape out the cup. And here we go. I think this will be enough. Probably more than enough. Yep. More than enough. I'll have a little bit left to throw into a little cactus or something. 
get off there, little drop. All right. <clears throat> so there we go. I'm just going to torch this and then I'm gonna turn the heating mat back on to cure it up so that we can unmold it in maybe an hour, hour and a half, because I wanna make sure it's good and cured. I don't wanna risk it being sticky or anything like that, so. All right, I will see you in a little bit. All right, welcome back. It is all cured and ready to go, so let's see what this baby looks like. Those glow-in-the-dark stars are going to look so cool at night. Oh, my gosh. Yay! I think that turned out awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.